Hello. How are you? Have you ever asked yourself why you should look expensive and sophisticated? I'm sure you did. Generally, as a society, we respect successful people, and that ties strongly with an appearance of sophistication. The more closely linked your first impression is to success and sophistication, the more you'll be seen as an authority. And as an authority in fashion, you can get away with a lot more style-wise, regardless if you're in the fashion field or not. So go be amazing, expensive, and classy. Okay? On to this video, I'm going to be giving you tips to look expensive, no matter your budget. And all the things that you need to avoid to look expensive. Stay tuned until the end of this video as we learn these tips. Please be sure to like this video, comment, share, save to your la to watch later, and I'll really appreciate. So let's face it. We all want to look classy and expensive. While some expensive fashion items scream wealth and others scream individuality. I'm here to tell you, no, not just tell you, but also show you that looking expensive on a budget is possible. It's not at all dependent on your wardrobe budget. I firmly believe that fashion is a unique voice that we should all use to communicate to the world who we are and better yet, who we want to be. I'm sure you've heard the common phrase, dress for the job you want. And there's a lot of truth to that. Okay, you have under 27 seconds to make sure you've subscribed to this YouTube channel, like this video, comment and save it to watch later. Thank you. So use your fashion to help you communicate. This video isn't about looking like you have a billion dollars, but rather how to look chic, powerful and put together. Why do influencers influence? Why do we track celebrity style? Because they look good. They look put together and like they have everything under control. Whether that is the case or not, who knows? But it's, it's how we interpret them. If you struggle with any fashion and the closet struggles, I'm here for you. Check my previous video. On, I've done videos before about fashion and I'm still going to do more for you guys. Okay, so we will get into the exact things to implement and avoid now. But looking sophisticated is also an entire mood and vibe. If you have confidence in yourself, or at the very least are uh, feigning confidence, you will appear infinitely more sophisticated. Sophistication is wearing the right clothes to the right event, because context is everything. You can look amazing here yeah, in that evening gown, but if you're at a baseball game, no one is thinking you're crushing it. Okay? So it's very important to wear the right clothes to the right event. Sophistication is being widely educated and like you have a pulse on what is going on. You appear in control, calm, and put together. The sophisticated dress is the same. You encompass a worldly style which is viewed as universally chic. For the most part, you are wearing the right clothes to the appropriate places and you look put together from head to toe. So here are the tips you need to look more expensive no matter your budget. You don't have to break the bank to look nice. You don't have to break the bank to appear expensive. First thing is to wear monochromatic colors. When I say monochromatic colors, I mean all black, all white, all blue, all red. It's up to you which of which is your favorite color because monochromatic colors is one of the easiest way to appear sophisticated and stylish. For instance, black. Black is neutral and will go with it will never go out of style and monochromatic fashion makes your outfit easily successful. 
All black elongates your body and is a great base for any outfit. All black, all white, all beige, they are very great bases for any outfit. You can style it with anything and come out with a very nice outfit. If you like to take more risks, you can go with a tonal outfit like all red as well, all yellow, all blue. Depends on your taste and uh, the event or rather the occasion, you know. Yeah. The next thing is to avoid, avoid distressed details in your clothes. Well, okay, we may all like distressed clothes at times, but don't let it be extra. Don't let it be too loud. You should avoid that if you want that over expensive look. Distressed marks or uh, wear marks on your clothes will instantly make your outfit more casual. Other than making it expensive, it will make it look more casual. So opt for non-distressed clothes, maybe the name. So to have a more sophisticated outfit. For instance, if I uh, like black denim, black denim is probably the easiest option for this style. Okay. The next thing is your jewelry. Make sure you up, up, up your jewelry game. Okay. Just use simple jewelry. You don't have to go with jewelry that is too loud, you know. If you are a gold jewelry person, make it simple. If you are a silver jewelry person, also choose them. Okay. We are taking a cue from the French girl fashion and opting for simple gold jewelry or, or silver. Classic jewelry is a nice way to spice up an outfit without drawing too much attention away from the entire look. Avoid statement pieces as a general rule. If you have one statement piece, maybe for instance you have a statement necklace, you don't need a statement bangle or a bracelet or an anklet or earrings. Okay? Avoid statement pieces as a general rule. Okay? Next thing is presentation. Presentation is everything. So make sure your clothes look neat, your clothes are ironed, your clothes are steamed. If you want to know the easiest way to elevate your classy factor, steam your clothes before you wear them. It will be 100% more chica without wrinkles. Okay? Just make sure your clothes look nice, your clothes are not wrinkled, your jackets look perfect. That will be another tip to look more expensive and sophisticated. If you're in Kenya, I'm going to tag on my the description below where I got my steamer on Instagram. I'll put the Instagram link down below. So please check my description box. But you could also keep it in your bathroom and it's easy to travel with. Yeah, I will link it down below and I'll show you also right here. Okay. Yeah, just make sure you look nice. You look perfect, you know. The next thing that makes your outfit look expensive is a classic coat or blazer. Okay, layering adds a lot of depth to an outfit and visually completes it. A classic trench coat, a classic wool coat, a classic blazer will make a simple outfit appear intentional and in turn look more expensive. When we think of women who look expensive, or even a man, we often think of a put-together, worldly person who can conquer anything, anything. And if you actually think about it, what comes to mind? What comes to mind? Any Anyone wearing a full outfit, coat included, what do you see? Class. Yeah, you see class, right? The next thing is to make sure your clothes fit properly if your clothes don't fit properly you will appear disheveled which is the opposite of what we are looking for which is the opposite of what we are expecting and what we are going for invest in learning your size or trying on clothes before you buy for the easiest way to look expensive dress for your body shape i made a video on body shape on how to know your body type how you should dress up for your body please go to my channel and check out that video 
I like to take videos of or clothes or photos of clothes so that I can watch them back later for a more honest assessment. Getting your clothes tailored is also a great option and uh, can be affordable if done sparingly. There's nothing like a perfect fit. Okay? There's nothing like a perfect fit. So you just need to invest in learning your size or trying on clothes before you buy, before you wear them. Be sure they fit perfectly to avoid inconveniences later. The next thing is to avoid many logos. Okay? <laughs> Some may disagree, but if they do, they're not the fashion elite. Wearing an abundance of logos makes you look like a billboard instead of a style icon which is the opposite of what we are looking for okay you don't have to you know having one or maybe two logos visible is fine and while logomania is a popular fashion trend it is exactly that negative trend for example for an expensive uh, sophisticated look we are leaning more on classic pieces and universal styles okay you don't have to wear a bag uh, that is uh, from Gucci or something else from, uh, you know, for you to appear expensive. No. The next and last thing on this is to invest in long-term pieces. Long-term pieces is uh, something that you'll wear this year, next year, five more years, and it will still be in style. Investing in pieces you love and will wear for years to come is the easiest way to never run out of outfits. You'll also always have the appropriate outfit for any, any event. Okay? So yeah, on to the second part of this video is the five things you should avoid at all costs if you want to look expensive. First thing is doing too much. The easiest way to look inexpensive is to do too much. It appears inexperienced and amateurish, for example. Don't want statement earrings statement shoes with a loud dress it ends up looking over the top which is not so impressive okay you don't have to do too much to look nice you don't have to exaggerate anything you know the next thing is being a brand billboard we've mentioned this before but really this is the easiest pitfall for most people trying to look sophisticated okay they think by wearing the gucci belt and having a louis vuitton bag and the chanel sunglasses they have communicated to the world that they are rich and they could be billionaires <laughs> for all i care but that doesn't mean they look sophisticated or expensive don't be a walking advertisement instead be a walking example of chic sophistication no matter your bank account did you hear that i will repeat it <laughs> don't be a walking advertisement instead be a walking example of chic sophistication no matter your bank account okay the next thing is over complimenting over complicating the process okay you know you might gush out yourself you know sometimes you can get in our heads trying to craft the perfect outfits if you have tried on 10 outfits and you just can't make up your mind you're probably in a fashion wormhole instead take 10 minutes away from your closet and then start again by picking an item you feel great in just take your time you don't have to complicate anything in choosing an outfit just understand where am i going what do they want to see what is the theme of the event and you'll fully be sure what you want to wear what you want to rock how you want to pair it okay the next thing, and this one is affecting so many people, is showing too much skin. Huh? Looking expensive has a correlation to looking classy. And showing too much skin usually doesn't look classy. Fine, I understand you love that uh, 
little black dress of yours, that little white dress of yours, or a slinky slip dress. But balancing that outfit and layering it is key to not showing too much skin or body. Ask yourself, will you wear this in front of your mother-in-law? If it's a question, then you probably need a layering piece. Personally, I love oversized, oversized blazers, oversized coats, oversized hoodies for this purpose. Okay? Just don't show too much skin. Be classy. Be sophisticated. Be, you know, like appear, you can appear in front of elder people and still look respectful. The last thing is extreme styles. If you've checked my videos, you know I love trying new fashion trends. But to look expensive and to look fashionable, you need to avoid looking like you're wearing a costume. Okay? When I say a costume, I mean like so a costume is not just uh, for the swimming or something. A costume is uh, yani, an outfit that it's for a purpose and it's for a season. It's for an occasion. It's for a moment, you know. Having an Erika Jane moment is great. But if you're not in Ibiza at a rave, try again. Okay? Having a Halloween outfit in January doesn't make sense. Because we are not in October, right? An easy way to avoid your outfit veering into costume territory is by not choosing the same style of clothes for your entire look. What you wore in January is not what you should still be wearing in December. Okay? To look expensive, we want classic with the modern edge. Okay? If you want to look rich and classy, you need to pay attention to your style and start with the tips I just gave you. Once you master this, these looks, you can slowly start to expand your own style to include trendier pieces and still be successful. Thank you so much for sticking up to the end of this video. Please like the video, comment on this video, share it, let it reach more people as we are looking forward to look rich and classy forever.